And joining me this evening is Brayden Martin, the uh, founder, I guess you would say, the creator of Martin RPI. Martin RPI is how the Northwest District uh, being assembled this year, being seated, I guess, uh, more accurately. Brayden, thanks for uh, taking some time to be with us. What what got you in? First of all, before we even talk about Martin RPI, what got you interested in keeping stats to this degree? Because it's a it's a certain mindset that likes numbers to to this level. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I, I want to say I like numbers. It's just kind of what I'm good at. So um, I, for background, I, I've always been a huge fan of, you know, Ohio high school sports in general. Uh, grew up, I think the first time I, I skipped school to go down to the state basketball tournament with, you know, some family was in first grade. So been going every year since. Go, I've been going to state football for a while as well. My, my dad and my uncle's been going, you know, 20 plus years to state football over in Canton and Maslin every year. So I've always kind of been, you know, really into <clears throat> high school sports in Ohio. Um, and then personally, I'm, I kind of have a, a, a decent background with, you know, math and numbers. I'm very analytically driven, um, kind of just the way my, my mind works. Um, and, you know, as far as getting this started, it kind of just it kind of just sparked from, you know, more in this area. Um, I want to say it was like, you know, five or so years ago, um, I would, you know, just be fouling the tournament. I always kind of noticed that for specifically like the division four Elida district um, on the boys basketball side, for some reason, I always thought that that division was absolutely stacked or division district is like stacked compared to the other ones that all go to Bowling Green. Um, so I just kind of figured, I was like, man, I, I wish there was a way to like spread the teams out, you know, in each district. So, you know, the four teams going to Bowling Green for regionals were, you know, more spread out. You know, you got your four top teams, put them in four different districts. And that was just kind of me spitballing here and there. So I figured, I guess the best way to accomplish that is kind of just come up with a, a way to rank teams that doesn't have any kind of, you know, opinion in it. And so all kind of based on math, which is, again, is just my... I, I make spreadsheets for, for my, my day job and I make them for my personal life. Like it's ridiculous. I have like a grocery shopping spreadsheet. I have every movie I ever watched. It's all kind all kinds of good stuff in there, <laughs> but just kind of, just kind of blended those with, you know, high school basketball. And that's kind of how it got started. So you mentioned a lot about going in and participating. You mentioned, you know, sneaking down and going to state basketball and you like football growing up. So what was the, you mentioned, you know, kind of wanting to maybe break up the districts a little bit mm -hmm. or, or reformulate that, I guess, might be a good way to say it. But what got you into specifically uh, wanting to do that with with basketball? Uh, probably just because basketball was the thing I followed the most. Um, <clears throat> I think playing basketball or football is probably my favorite sport playing, probably watching too as well. But um, in my opinion, there's nothing better than, you know, March Madness and, you know, come tournament time, whether it's high school, college, absolutely love it all. So that was kind of, kind of how it, how it started was from that. <clears throat> so talking with Brayton Martin of uh, Martin RPI and what makes this particular system, because really all it comes down to is when you're seeding teams, everyone just uses, they, they have a particular system that they like the, for years and other districts in the state of Ohio are still doing it. It's kind of the, you know, it's the eye test. You watch the teams play and then you assemble a, a seating based on that. Uh, why do you think this system is better than what you might refer to as as the eye test, considering that to a certain extent, you never really have to watch the teams play in order for your system to to seed them? Why do you think that's better? Uh, right. So I wouldn't say it's 100 percent better for Speaking as a whole, the rankings itself, it's never going to be perfect at all. It's not even, not even close to perfect. Um, no, you know, you know, no ranking that's made through a computer system can, you know, catch everything that, you know, the eye can see. Um, so, I mean, I, I look at a few things. I'm like, well, how is this team ranked down here? What's going on? So um, definitely not perfect by, you know, by any stretch of the imagination. Um, as far as why I kind of enjoy it is when... You know, with the current district set up, when, you know, you have 10 to 12 teams in one district, they're going to know how to seed those teams. So is it as effective this year with the current district set up? Not really, because, you know, those 12, 10 to 12 coaches in those district, they got a pretty good finger on the pulse of the teams they are playing. A lot of them, their teams they already played. And that was kind of what I said going into this is that it doesn't make a huge difference. Um, the, the kind of main thing in using it, though, 
is it's when you get to a bigger area, let's say in the future, which I, I'm just spitballing here, I have no idea if sure, this would sure. ever happen. Or not. Let's say it goes to, you know, like a super sectional where you got, you know, division four, you got 50, 60 teams. You see them one through 50 or 60. This way is kind of the RPI is kind of the best way to do it because you get a team from, you know, down by Lima area. They're not like, you know, let's say Lima Perry, they're not going to know how to rank, you know, like the, the BBC schools way up in the Northwest corner. And the same thing for vice versa. So kind of, the bigger area it covers, it allows, it's kind of a way to, to rank teams without kind of relying on, well, you know, certain areas know about teams in their area, but the further out you get, the more kind of foggy it can get. So, you know, like I said, the current district, it's not, you know, I wouldn't say it's better. I completely fine if they ever want to, if like you say next year, they want to go back to the coaches vote. Great. That's, that's fine with me if that's what they think works. So, um, it's kind of more for, you know, bigger scale. So, um, and again, I don't know if that'll ever, you know, get moved to a bigger scale. I, I'm, I'm not sure, but yeah. <clears throat> uh, last question. So five years from now, what do you want Martin RPI to look like? What do you want it oh. to be doing in the context of boys and girls basketball in the state of Ohio and well, in other states, I guess. Man, that's a tough one. Five years, <laughs> I, five. I guess five years ago, I wasn't even doing this, so I, <laughs> that's really tough saying. Um, the, the big thing, I guess, figuring out how to do it automatically with, uh, which again, this kind of goes back to more computer engineering type thing. Um, right now, I, I, you know, get up from before my my day job. I have to go to work around, you know, seven eight seven thirty or so. And right now, you know, Tuesday nights have a bunch of boys games. There's girls like there's like 600 boys games across the state on Tuesday nights. There's 300 about every other, every other weeknight for girls games. So I got anywhere from 400 to about 800 games that I have to update daily. So I'll be getting up at, you know, 4 AM on some days that I'll have a lot and just start putting in scores. So if I could, if I could get away to just have that update automatically, that would be, it would help my sanity quite a bit if I won't have to do as much data entry. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, but as far as big picture, shoot, I don't know. I guess selfishly, I think it would be cool to um, to have it, you know, kind of like the, you know, the 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 Harbin ratings for football. How they use that for seating? I think it'd be cool to use that for basketball on a statewide uh, scale. Um, but again, that's all dependent on you know whether or not the coaches like it, the administrators, all the approvals that it would have to go through. If you know, if they don't want to use it, I'm not going to say, hey, this is how we're doing it up here. You have to use this and nor, nor do I have the power to make that happen. So, um, it's, yeah, selfishly, I think it'd be really cool to just, you know, kind of mirror what they do for football. Mm -hmm. um, so, but yeah. All right. Brayton Martin, the founder of Martin RPI and how all the girls and boys seatings will be addressed this season for the Northwest District. Anyway, uh, Brayton, hey, thanks for your time. And uh, hey, keep doing what you're doing. You know, anything that's that's new. Hey, we like we're a fan of. <laughs> Thank you.